We are at St. James Park. I'm on the lookout for my friends over with the San Francisco Mime Troop, and I think I see him right over there. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Is that them? All right, we found him. So here in St. James Park, you know, they I think they really tried to do a good job reactivating it, make sure that it's safe for the public, but also being respectful of the residents who are here. And, you know, every summer, I think for the past four summers, the SF Mime Troop has come and done a show here. If you're not familiar, the SF Mime Troop is based in San Francisco. Every year they write a new play that tackles socioeconomic topics. Um, and just exploring what art can do to kind of change or make change for the community and society. And unfortunately, I can't film any of the stuff that's happening during the show, but definitely check out their website, their Facebook page. I'll probably have a chat with some of them afterwards. St. James Park, a place of many, many histories. I've worked on a show in the past that talked about the sort of details about this park. I've also worked in this park, helping promote the activities and just the culture of San Jose. Today, it is August 10th. The SF Mime Troop is here performing for free for the public, which is awesome. If you guys have not had a chance to go out and support public art, public performances, Turn this vlog off right now. Google it or, or Bing, whatever your favorite search engine is. Go find what's happening in your neighborhood. It is great. These guys come out to perform. The community is here to watch. It is a beautiful, beautiful relationship that's just working in tandem to create change, to create entertainment, to just be present with each other. And I highly, highly recommend it. What's up guys? All right, it was a great show. Like I said, we're here in San Jose. Uh, the SF Mime Troop has a couple of shows coming up in Santa Cruz. I'm joined by Michael Gene Sullivan, collective member of the SF Mime Troop. That was awesome, dude. And I know that everyone's working really hard back there to, to uh, strike. Uh, tell, tell us about the show, man. Well, San Francisco Mime Troop always does something political, something timely, something funny, something educational to try to bring, you know, art to the people for a price every worker can afford free. And uh, Treasure Island is about Treasure Island. Yeah. <laughs> you know, right in the middle of the bay, this place that everyone's like, oh my God, it's so beautiful, such great views, all of this wonderful stuff. But it's also poisonous, toxic, radioactive, and they keep pushing the, the most manual of workers and people of color to live out there to kind of like justify developing it. Uh, and then eventually they're gonna push those up, those and the rest of us off too to make high-end condos. But the fact is, it's just poisonous. And it's really just a big boondoggle for the rich Ooh. to make more money off of the poor and civil contracts. Anyway, thanks for uh, chatting with us for a quick second, man. Uh, love you, thank you so much for being here in San Jose. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, a common theme you'll find within my vlogs 
and within my life is the advocacy of arts, of the arts, I should say. Uh, and in my case in particular, a big reason why I'm always pushing for people to go see the arts or participate or uh, advertise the arts or, or what have you is because when I was growing up on American Samoa, I never felt like I was exposed to the art, not in the way that I am now. I've always felt that public art or art that the public can access for free is so incredibly impactful. To have your city colored by art and the people who make them is super vital to what makes a rich culture. I hope that you have been enjoying these vlogs. I set out to inspire, I set out to kick myself in the butt by creating these projects and one of these is this vlog series and I know I haven't been completely honest with you guys or forthcoming as far as why I make these vlogs what the motivation is behind it but trust me I will be releasing a video soon detailing why I'm doing what I'm doing but for now I just want to say thank you guys for joining me on this journey if you've seen one episode if you've seen two if you've gone through the entire playlist thank you from the bottom of my heart now go out and go see some art Thank you.